Let's reload this. If he's gonna just come right up to the stairs and do the same thing and let us pop him in the head, I'm gonna lull. Lull. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to make a baking pan. That's the goal. And I'm just kind of giving you an update on where things are. So we are in late January right now. And I've spent the last several in-game days just doing the usual going out, looting, uh, hunting, fending off the hunters for, with their occasional attacks. I haven't messed with them, um, though, deliberately. So, yeah. Um, and let's see. I actually moved, went ahead and moved the chicken coop back here um, because I wanted to try it and see if I could still do free range back here, and, a bit, and I can. Uh, the game doesn't consider this cave actually really covered technically. I mean, that's why we have snow back here too, which also has an, a different um, advantage that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and then as you can see, I made another chicken coop, and this one is also fully upgraded. And what I'm really digging about these chicken coops is the eggs. I mean, more than anything else. Now, this chicken is now a fully leveled chicken. I'm going to go ahead and butcher it just to see um, if it's worth it or not. But I don't, unless, you know, unless there's something about that that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I know we're supposed to get a good feather and we get the better meat, but I mean, how much, right? Uh, compared to a, a pretty constant supply of eggs. I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not, but we're going to try it at least once, you know, so that way we know. Uh, but, you know, I've been, between the two of those chickens, you know, I've been able to make myself steak and eggs damn near every day. So, um, speaking of which, we need to eat. So let's eat some steak and eggs, and we'll also eat some tomato soup. And yeah, uh, we are up to 91 too, by the way. I've just been really super careful about not getting killed and stuff. A, mo a big part of that's because we haven't really engaged the hunters a whole lot. And I haven't been uh, going after really dangerous game like, you know, moose and cougars and stuff like that. Uh, so we're mostly just sticking to the wolves and the, and the chickens and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're doing quite well in terms of our health and all of that. Um, and a lot of that has to do with eating this food. Uh, so I've got a full stack of pork here too. Uh, because I want to try that honey glazed pork. I don't think we're going to be able to get honey until springtime, um, but yeah, we'll see. I got two lock picks going here. So what we actually need for the baking pan is uh, we're going to need 250 mass. The rest of the stuff I have is as expensive as it is. Plus we got to make ingots too. Hmm. Uh, I have, oh shit, I don't have any ingots. Wow, that's so damned expensive, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's do this. Let's turn this guy on. And let's run both of our Jennies to compensate. Um, I've got more uh, of uh, this in here, biofuel. So we'll grab that. We'll fill both Jennies and we'll get these cranking. All right, I'm going to turn the... Oh, shit, we're under attack. All right, let's go deal with this. Looks like it's coming from up here. Um, actually, let's use our magnum. At some point, I want to also upgrade our weapons, too. I like how he's pointing the shotgun off to the side, and he can still hit me. So, what the, what's up with that? Alright. We got two down, and... I just gotta get this guy here. No, we didn't get him. They go behind the bush, and then it's hard to see where they are. Here, let's just go out and do this mono e mono. Well, if I can actually aim here. All right, he did. Okay. So let's get this guy. These guys is lootskis. Uh, where is your bag? Oh, that's probably the one I just looted. Grab his bag and this guy's bag. So that was likely Alpha, I think, that attacked us. You know, the thing, too, is they do have... They do have green coats. I wonder if the 
I was wondering if the other guys, the Bravo guys, had blue coats. I'm not really sure. Okay, let's see. I don't think they really had much of a chance to do damage to our structure because we got up here pretty quick. I don't see any visible damage. That doesn't mean there isn't a little bit. Unless they were attacking on this side. No, everything really le actually looked pretty good up here. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that quite literally was the first attack I've had in a long time. Uh, let's get this weapons crate over here. Yeah, everything should be nice and repaired over on this side. Okay, got some magnum ammo. So these guys are down here just running around. Um, I think... I think they have green coats too. Yeah, they've been derping out down there for a while. And as usual, we're going to let them do that because it's just one less hunter group to worry about for a while until they decide to underp. They usually do underp, but it can take them a while. All right, anyway, we need to get this up to 250 to get the baking pan. Um, and then after we get that to 250, well, see, the other thing though, too, is we've got, we also have to make. Um, Eight ingots. My goodness, that's going to be expensive. Whew. Okay, let's put that stuff in there. And that all goes in there. This all goes in here. Not that. That we're going to put in the mass recycler. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That goes in there. 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 We'll throw that in the mass recycler. Put these guys over here. Um, I'm going to, let's just see if we can make eight ingots. Man, that's going to be expensive. Ooh I mean, you know, we can usually get those from locked chests and raids. Maybe we should actually raid before we do this because it's going to cost me 12, or no, not that, sorry. It's going to cost me 400 power and four an 80 yeah an 80 mass just to make these hmm yeah let's go see let's let's raid we haven't raided in a while we might as well let's do it it's fun um so if we're gonna do that i've got three grenades here if charlie's gonna give us the most bang for our buck of course um so let's make some more grenades what do we what do we need for that again? I think we need zinc and iron. Or no, iron and copper. Okay. Alright, let's make um See we only we didn't use all of I, I think I brought eight with me last time. We only used like six. Plus we could probably loot some. So I think let's go in with six and I'll have some extra picks just in case we you know, we don't actually get that from them. We might want to wait until tomorrow, though, because I don't know how late in the day it actually is. Yeah, we'll probably do that. I'll probably cut the camera and meet you guys uh, first thing in the morning. See, that just sucked all of our mass down again, too. All right, yeah, let's just turn that off and let the free mass build up. Um, yeah, not even do that now. Yeah, if we're, we're going to hit Charlie, we, we need to do it uh, first thing in the morning. So, all right. Well, if that's the case, then let's see. What else can we do for the moment? I wanted to show you this. Um, This is actually something that's been in the game for a long time, but I can just go right on out here into the snow and fill this thing up. But I have to, I have to make sure I'm walking my feet are actually walking on the snow and then I can melt it so I have like water right outside the back door quite literally which is really nice now we're not going to have that of course in the summertime because we have to go back down to the pond but um, while we have that snow back there it's just really really awesome um, yeah so we got that going on all right well let's put these in here uh, oh we already did that okay Um, all right, so, yeah, the big thing here is going to be the zinc's not a problem, the adhesive's not a problem, it's just the mass, power, and the doggone ingots. Uh, okay, so we got three of those. 
That gives us a total of six. So we're going to go in with six, and I'm going to have, like, maybe four picks with me. Uh, so let's get those made up, too. Mm, let's actually make five. Because as long as we start early enough in the day, even if I end up having to pick down some of the doors, that should give us enough time to handle all of that. All right. So, let's see. Oh, we were going to... Uh, we're going to butcher this chicken. And I just want to see what we get out of it. And then ascertain whether or not I feel it's worth it to butcher them versus just keeping them for eggs, you know? All right, let's see. We've got five seed slots available there. I have no seeds. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, I've used up all the seeds. Okay, so let's see. We got potatoes. Um, we still have a full stack of tomatoes there. So why don't we turn all of these into seeds and then let's turn these into seeds. And I'm going to put those in there. And then we will plant some more tomatoes and onions in that one. And you're still waiting. Okay. One nice thing, too, about, you know, when the winter's over is I can put these back up on the balcony and then we we're not, we're not burning power because I pretty much keep these, have to keep these lights on all of the time. Um, here, let's split that in half and split that in half. Nice having the, you know, the, the chicken poop for the fertilizer because it allows me to save my ash for, um, for gunpowder. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good thing. Okay, so we got... Uh, well, I guess I don't need to take these now because we're not going to raid them till tomorrow. Uh, so we'll leave those in there for the moment. I am, like, really full, aren't I? All right, let's put that down there, put that there. We'll put the nades down here and the extra pick there. I could make another chest, I suppose. Uh, all right, so let's see. You are not doing anything. You're not using any power. I mean, we could afford to make those ingots, but I'd rather try and loot at least some of them, just because, again, that's so doggone expensive. Okay, so we're up to 100 mass here. So let's grab this and throw those in there I have a full stack of the weapons parts did we turn this off yeah let's turn this off now to just to build up the juice a little bit better and um, uh, we'll, just, we'll just do these two it won't take long okay, so we'll let that go and all right I think we're ready to Butcher the chickens. Or the chicken, rather. I know we get, like, special meat from it. Um, and then, you know, we can make this this chicken stew. Which I'm sure is pretty good, but... You know, this is... is this We're talking about a one-time shot here, I think, versus a constant supply of eggs for steak and eggs. But let's just do it and see what happens. Alright, so we're going to grab you. And we are going to kill you. And butcher you. Whole chicken raw can be roasted in the oven. Oh, we got seven premium feathers. Okay. Well, all right. That's that's better than I thought we were going to get. So, I guess, is this the chicken? This is probably the chicken here. Ooh. All right. Let's get this in the fridge. And we will put pristine feathers. I guess we'll have to keep those in here. Wait, I already have... No, I've got premium arrows that I think we looted. So those are supposed to be good for large game. Well, all right. So seven arrows, a whole chicken, some fat, and normal feathers. That's actually not bad. That's more, like I said, than I thought the game was going to give us. So, yeah, if you had, you know, if you had, like, maybe four of these set up and running, which we probably could do. There's probably room for me to put four in here if I really wanted to scooch them in. Um, that might be worth it, but I don't know. I still, you know, a constant supply of eggs means a constant supply of steak and eggs. Easy food. It only takes one raw steak and two eggs. 
and it's super good food. So, yeah, I don't know. It's good to know, though, that, that we get a pretty decent amount of stuff from butchering the chicken. Um, yeah, so see the two eggs right there. All it takes is one single steak, and look at this, baby. Steak and eggs right there. So damn good food. All right, well, we got to go find a new chicken now. So let's put you in here. And um, what are we doing? We're building up power. Yeah, let's get the power built back up a bit. And then I'm probably going to turn the mass generator on. Um, to Well, yeah, shit, we're going to need 250 of that. Oh, my goodness, that's so damn expensive. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go get ourselves a new chicken before we do anything else. And then um, after that, we will, um, I might cut the camera and wait and bring you guys back in the morning and we'll go hit Charlie. But let's, uh, let's get a chicken together first. And uh, again, I've tried on multiple occasions to catch a chicken with the jump and then I've done it without the jump and I don't think the jump does a damn thing. Maybe it used to, but I, I, I've seen no hard evidence that jumping around makes any difference with catching the chicken. Because what it's programmed to do is run away from you for a certain distance. Then it stops, and then if you're still too close to it, then it starts running again. And I heard that the jumping trick is supposed... Here, let's see if we can get a little closer to it before it starts running. The jumping trick causes it to stop... But, again, I, I just haven't seen evidence of that. Each time it stops, you get you gain on it just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't run us into something nasty. Oh, just about there. We should get it on the next one. Yeah, it kind of gained on us a little bit, didn't it? Come here, you little bugger. Oh! Oh, just about. I'm like spamming the E key here. There we go. We got it. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again. A little more with the jumping but I mean it's taken me just as long to catch one jumping as it did just running like that so let's get our new chicken friend in the coop and get get it reared and I'll have to think about whether or not I want to keep butchering them as opposed to just keeping them for the eggs I, I think you know if we did that the thing to do would be to have more chicken coops so you have like two that just do nothing but produce eggs and then two that you raise for the meat and the feathers. See, that that would probably make more sense. I'm a thinking. Okay, let's eat our steak and eggs. This gives us 46 protein, uh, 0.2 health and 0.2 stamina. It's so good and it's so easy to make. And then let's have some soup and we'll get our, our food going. Max health increase. Now we're at 92. Look at us and our bad selves. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to cut the camera here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hang out overnight, maybe go cut some wood or something. And then in the morning, uh, we will go hit Charlie and hopefully we can get some of the ingots that we need to make that baking pan. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Welcome back, guys. So um, I forgot uh, earlier to make a uh, uh, one of these guys, breaching chart. So I, I made that. And then, uh, so let's grab... All of these picks, I don't think we're going to need <coughs> all of them, but we're going to grab them anyways. we got the six grenades, and let's make sure we have um, lots of uh, this ammo. Um, I think I'm going to take even a little bit more, uh, because that's what we're going to use mostly to take these guys out. Um, maybe we'll take a few more rifle rounds, too. Okay. So I think we got everything we need. It's, as you can tell, it's not quite light out, but it's starting to, it should be starting to get light out really quick. The moon is almost 
uh, set there. Uh, we want to get started bright and early here. So let's just top off our two Jennies and have them continue to crank out to the power. Sounds like we have a moose up above our, us. Uh, I did have a, an attack uh, earlier this evening, but it was just one guy and it was not a big deal. Let's get those topped off. And we want to, I've been making a bunch of liver and onions. Um, so let's eat a liver and onions. And I also made a bunch of soup. So let's eat that too. Oh, all right. Well, let's just take one of those with me. I'm probably just right on the border there. Can't believe it won't let me eat that. Let's drink a water. And I think we're ready to go. Our weapons, uh, yeah, they're okay. They're borderline repaired, but I think they'll be okay for this raid. So let's do this, man. We're going to go take Charlie out again. And hopefully in the process of doing that, we get um, several ingots from them, among other things. And, um, you know, whatever other loot they have for us. Oh, it looks like they might be coming for us. That's funny, man. Yeah, I bet you... Yep, they're coming for us. Okay, you know what? Let's just let them do their worst. And in the meantime, we're going to go attack their base. Because <laughs> they're, you know... At worst case scenario, they break a few of our walls down, but there's no way they can actually get in to our base. So we do have to kind of watch for them coming up behind us now, but... I think uh, if there's nobody at all out in front, uh, we're just going to go blow their door down right now. Or even if there's just one guy out in front. Somehow or another, they must have gotten word that we were coming for them, so they're coming for us. Okay, we do have to watch out for the Claymore. It was over there last time. Uh, as long as it's not... I think that's it right there, yeah. Not right in the direct path here. Okay. Let's run straight out. I can't see very well. Oh, there he is. Hold still. Okay, so I don't know, um, you know, now that we're inside their base, I don't know if they'll come back here and come through the front door or not. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, let's start looting. Ah, shoot, there's... Oh, look at this. Hunter jacket. Six protection and two warmth. Nice. It's the same as our our shirt, but it's, it's camouflage. Okay, let's take all of that. Ah, uh, shoot, we didn't get any freaking, uh, um, here, let's eat that now. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually toss this just to save room. Let's wear this. That's cool, man. Alright, are they coming back? <laughs> uh, we didn't get any ingots from that, but we did get some good stuff, for sure. Um, let's take this and that. I'm gonna keep their fire going for the time being. Nice. Get a claymore out of that deal. Just checking to see if they're coming. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, this room that we got to blow. What was it? Oh, that was the thread. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw some nades down in front of this door. Do another one. Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. All right. He's like going, I wasn't expecting someone to shoot me out of my own base. Oh, shit. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, you attacked my base, and now look what happens to you, asshole. 
And here comes the other guy. Let's reload this. If he's going to just come right up to the stairs and do the same thing and let us pop him in the head, I'm going to lull. Lull. Alright. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about these guys coming again. Get some shotgun shells off of him. Uh, a gear to help make up for the... Uh... Oh, and the other one's right here, too. Make up for the breaching charge, and we got two rifle rounds back, too. Alright, cool. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. We might still have some dudes uh, in the base themselves, but at least no one's going to come after us now. So let's get this broke down. Only 44 hit points left. Uh, you know what? Actually, I want to just look one more time. Make sure no one else is coming. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we killed one guy in the base here, and then those three guys uh, came out to attack us. They, they very well could have taken out a couple of our walls, but you know what? That's okay. We can easily recover from that. That What this al allowed us to do is get in here more quickly. Well, we got plates, but man, no freaking uh, no ingots. Damn it. Okay. Let's run the current load out to our chest. But the nice thing is, is we didn't, you know, we didn't have to get in our shed here first and you know, have it take a little bit of damage and all that kind of thing. Uh, we just got right, <laughs> right out in their base while they were attacking us. Oh, man. I love it. Serves the bastards right, man. Serves them right. And then we got the entire day now to mess around at Charlie's place. In fact, you know what? I wonder if we can use their mass and power to make our, our cooking pan. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to put all this stuff in here for now. Not really too worried about what's what. We don't need to carry all of these picks. Um, so let's just take this much and, you know, we can come back and grab more of it later. Yeah, that would be cool, actually. If we can use their power and mass to make our cooking pan, that'd make me happy. That'd make me a happy camper. I want to stay away from the claymore over there. It's kind of funny that the AI made this little lip there so they can't get up their own stairs. Um, <clears throat> Alright, what do we have? Uh, we only have 642 power. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Since we have the entire day, we're going to... Let's get see if we can get the mass built up first. And yeah, we're going to overdrive it. Get that to 250, and then we might have to bring some of our own biofuel over here later to to get the power boosted up. And if we if we can do it, we can do it. If we can't, well, it was worth a try. Okay, let's go ahead and continue raiding this place. Oops, I'm stuck on something. I don't think there will be guys up here, but there might be. All right, nobody up here. We'll grab that, and over here we have all of this stuff that we'll grab. And then we have a new room right here to break into. Alright. And... Let's knock down the door. 46 hit points left on this one. <coughs> Easy peasy, man. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, raiding Charlie's like freaking going to Walmart. I love it. Charlie is synonymous with Walmart in this game. We do have to pay to do this because it costs us materials and stuff, but we walk, oops, we walk away with uh, more than we spent to get here. Okay, so that just kicked off their power. Uh, no, wait. What did it do? It kicked off this. So now they have 138. So we need it. How much do we need for that? 
250. Oh, man, I don't think we're going to get that done. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. All right, well, whatever. Let's just keep doing the main thing here, which is looting. Anything in there? Nope. Okay. Oh, good. We got ingots. Three ingots. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. That's what we were hoping to get. All right. Make sure there's nobody else up here. Let's grab all of this stuff out of here. Some rotten stuff there. Ooh, look at the food. Oh, nice. The chicken stew. So that, okay, so that only gives 36 protein, but it gives a lot of veggies, too. So it's just a good all-around food, plus 0.3 health and stamina. All right, let's eat that now. Nice. I still don't think that alone is worth, you know, butchering our chicken for, though. Um, <clears throat> I, I think, like I talked about before, I think I want the constant supply of eggs. Yeah, the elevator just goes up there. It doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, one more room to pop in here, and we'll still have an extra grenade left over when it's all said and done. I guess we should run out that way. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. 46 hit points left on this one, too. Hell, we might have time to go hit Bravo today, too. We have an extra uh, grenade. Why don't we do that? Might as well. I don't think we're going to get the power and mass we need in this place to make what we need to make. Nobody in here. Nothing in the lathe. Oh, shit. This requires 3,000 power. It's going to be really difficult if oh, maybe even impossible for us to make a base cracker here that requires 400 mass oh my goodness all right well what do we got here oh good we got a nade back really good bunch of nine mils a bunch of adhesive some rifle rounds there we go okay so we have 15 rifle rounds 20 of those i don't remember what i i came here with but um this this is the best thing right here because now, now we don't have to make eight of these suckers we just have to make five which is still going to be expensive but you know charlie definitely helped us out with that all right well again i don't think there's really much else we can do here uh so let's just put out their fire turn this on to get their power going there's not really anything we can do in here how in the hell is it that they can make stuff without the pots and pans and i have to have them what is up with that yeah see they they only have a total of of 300 mass um, so yeah it's not possible for us to even make the base cracker here like I thought so okay well now we know uh, we could maybe make some tanks here if we wanted to I don't have the stuff with me I don't actually need any more tanks right now anyways I'm already kind of low on space I'm just double checking to make sure I got everything I'm stuck all right, yeah, let's overdrive this and run their fuel out. And then we'll turn their switches on. We got everything out of here, right? Okay, let's extinguish their fire. Um, and then we'll turn this back on to run their, their power out. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all the damage we can do here. Okay, let's head out, grab our stuff, and we're going to hit Bravo today, too. Probably not Alpha. We don't want all three of them pissed off at us at the same time. We did that once before. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. So, uh, at, at a point in time when I couldn't really afford to do it either, you know. But we survived it, but still. Yeah, we don't want to hit all hitting us at the same time. Okay, so <clears throat> let's come in here. Uh, we're not going to be able to get all of this, so let's just grab... That's not going to stack... Potassium, we don't have any weapons, we got that. Should be able to get those. I don't have any nails. Gears, blueberries, we have scrap, we have adhesive, 24 adhesive, nice. We're coming away with a pretty decent amount of that. 
Uh, we'll grab the gears, and I guess uh, we can grab those and the plates, and we'll we'll just have to come back for the rest of this. It's cold, man. It is chilly. Got a little bit of a storm coming in here. Bravo's down low, though, so we don't have to worry about being too high. Oh, they didn't bust out any of our walls. Nice. Damaged, but not busted. We will fix that after we're done with Bravo. Because <clears throat> we know Charlie's not going to retaliate for the rest of today. All right, let's put this stuff in here. Um... We we kind of we gotta hurry. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm just gonna put those in there. Um, that goes in there. That goes in there. All of that stuff does. That goes in there. All of this goes in here. We have an, enough plates to do almost two more foundations, which is great. Claymore goes there. We'll stick the walkies in. Um, the uh, mass recycler. Those go there, those go there. Nine mils go in there. Okay, I'll go back and get that other stuff up at our Charlie Shack later. Uh, I just want to get going on Bravo. Okay, let's turn that one on. How's our power usage? Yeah, we're good. I have some stuff turned off, so... Um, okay, so we still have two nades, which is perfect, and our picks are in good shape. I think we, we're ready to just roll over there right now. Let me check our fires. I'm just going to top those off. I need to go have a, a wood run. Okay, put that in there. Uh, I'm not worried about the crops. Let's just ch double check. Yeah, you got plenty of food and water. You got plenty of food and water. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I got a wolf in the yard. A level one wolf. My favorite kind of wolf, because I can kill him with the bow. Alright, let's go put this away and wash our hands. Take a drink, too. Um, um, the fat can go in here. And do I have... Yeah, we can put one of those in there. We'll put that in there. Do we need to eat? Yes, we do. Let's eat these bacon and eggs. Can I eat one of these now, too? Perfect. Okay. We are doing good nutrition-wise. Alright. Are those guys down there? No, they're not. Okay. I don't think they are, anyways. We got some ore over there. I'll probably use the Magnum to take these guys out. I like the Magnum. The, the rifle's great for, you know, longer range shots, of course. The Magnum is just, it shoots faster. All right, let's see if we can pop this guy. There, I got him. Two of them. Uh, there's definitely a guy up above. Uh, all right, let's get the loot off these dudes real quick. Nice, two shotgun shells. I'll take it. The other guy's probably going to shoot at us. Okay, we need to be careful of the claymore. I think it's still... Yep, I think that's it right there. Let's just get a little longer range look. Yeah, positive, that's it. Okay, good. So we are going to have to deal with the guy up above. We can't hit him from here because... Um, 
they got glass up there. Let's take that and put out their fire. Force them to make another fire starter. Okay. Very good. All right, let's get the pick. Take the rest of the door out and get ready to shoot this dude. Oh, this one left a little bit more on. That's probably because the grenade rolled down the stairs a little bit. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to put this on. Might get a little cold, but I'd rather have that extra protection while we're up close and personal like this. down. Oh, there's still another dude. Oh shit, he's right there. Okay. I just heard the footsteps. Ah, shoot. No ingots, but we got a lot of plates and a lot of rifle ammo and another grenade, so that's still pretty good stuff overall. I can't complain. Up to 20 rifle rounds. It's a beautiful thing. Um, okay, so... Let's uh, let's go up here and check the workbench. Another grenade. Beautiful. Okay, we got two grenades now. Uh, they have 500 power and 76 thingies. Um, we've been using these guys to upgrade. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have enough time in the day to build up 1,300 power and 140 mass. We're probably not going to be able to continue doing firepower upgrades anyways. Um, on their stuff just because I mean they don't even have 1300 capacity yeah all right we're gonna have to take care of the rest of those on our own they have actually they have 400 mass capacity though that's actually really good uh, but we don't have time to do anything with that today though so let's just turn their power on run them out um, overdrive this turn it on turn this on and overdrive it that sounds like a motorcycle. Vroom. Grab all of that and turn it, put their fire out. Uh, they never have anything in there, and we got a little bit of stuff in here. Okay, cool. That's it. We are not going to hit Alpha, of course, because, again, we don't want all three of them pissed off at us. Plus, Alpha's he's kind of a... You don't, you don't get a lot from them. I guess it'd be worth doing. I mean, we have two free grenades... But I don't want to do it right now and have all three of them on us. Uh, it's going to be, you know, we're going to have our hands full just dealing now with Charlie and Bravo. But we can handle it as long as we get stuff repaired before they attack. Well, neither one of them are going to attack until at least nightfall anyway, so we're already okay for a little while. Uh, oh, just right there. All right, some 9mm ammo. We'll take it. I actually like the 9mm quite a bit for hunting. It's a, it's a good weapon for that purpose. Hunting wolves, that is. Not really much anything else. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have some repairing to do up here. But I think we are actually out of time, so I'm just going to take care of that off camera, guys. So yeah, that is it for this episode. Um, we didn't get the baking pan made, but we are going to be working towards it for sure. Uh, we got the power. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is, you know, we, we need so much damn mass on this. We're just going to, and since we have maxed out power, I'm just going to have to build most of it up with that. So, yeah, I think that is it, guys, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a good episode. Uh, we got some good loot. We pissed off the neighbors which is always a good thing to do in this game because that's what you do is piss off your neighbors. They piss you off, you piss them off. They piss you off, you piss them off. <laughs> it's an ever-ending cycle. But it's how we get the good stuff, man. It's how we get the really good stuff by raiding their ass. So let's put that in there. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Um, probably the same thing. You know, I'll, I'll do have a couple of uh, days loot. Well, actually, I might bring you guys back a little sooner than normal 
for the next episode just to make the baking pan because I mean that's a big deal just be by virtue of the fact that it's so incredibly expensive to make um, but we'll see you guys will know what ha will happen when it happens so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel we'll leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode I got repairing to do bye bye